How's it going, Internet? I hope you're having a lovely day. It's that time again. It's time to get into some animation, time to get that imagination all cranked up, get into some creativity, and it's time to get inspired. And today's inspiration comes from Dermot Power. And if you're not familiar with his work, check right over here. Uh, he is one of my favorites for a long time of a concept artist and illustrator. I really just love his line work. He has almost like a harsh uh, sharpness to his work of like a Jamie Hewlett with like those really strong jaw lines in, in his work but um he's got some a beautiful color and really just uh, blends that world of almost uh hyper realism of of cartoony features but brought into a realistic sense and i really just am drawn to his stuff i think he's phenomenal uh one of uh, probably my my top 10 that i've talked about in months and months and months of work and I really love his stuff so I really urge you guys to go off and check out more stuff from him I will throw a link in the description below but like I said his stuff is just phenomenal this the art style that he has is very similar to the stuff that um, someday uh, uh, hopefully uh, my stuff will be in that same uh, a similar style I'm not saying the exact same style uh, this uh, this is some of his other work that he does which is a little more in the uh, kind of Mike Mignola if it's thanks to that uh, style um, but yeah definitely check out his stuff it's very creative it's very uh, just beautiful each and every one of his pages he's um, this is another one of my favorites of his um, I just really love the there's a, a, a looseness to it and a really strong anatomy behind all of his uh, his characters and his layouts and everything that I think is just top-notch and really there's there's uh i mean he worked on on uh, let's see uh, pirates and harry potter and beowulf and just so v for vendetta just so many great um projects that he's been a part of that you can really tell it, that that uh just beautifully imaginative as you can see i'm, I'm getting to lost for words because i love his stuff so much so definitely check out more from him but i did want to share a quote with you guys uh, from him as well that was uh it doesn't matter where you come from if you have a dream and a talent you should go out there and do it not more i can really say off of that uh, just do it find out what it is you're passionate about and uh, do it each and every day so that being said let's go ahead and get into some animation i'm pumped i love looking at his work this is the uh acme rig it's a free rig you can grab over at creative crash and if you're not familiar with what we'll be doing for the rest of the videos we give ourselves 48 frames it's two seconds of animation i go off and i find a rig that i've never used before it's also a free resource for you guys to play around with as well check out the links in the description below if you want to try that out yourself and we kind of go from there a little bit of over the shoulder hang out with me while i animate a little bit of uh, instruction or guidance or talking through the process but most of all the goal of these videos each and every day is to hopefully encourage you guys and inspire you to go off and create something uh, amazing each and every day and take another step in your journey to uh, reach your dreams and uh, that being said let's go ahead and play around and do some animation it's a little late tonight it's been kind of a uh, longer day so I think we'll stick with just a cycle for today and um, thing that will be different about this one that I want to try and play up a those knees are kind of funky wonder what's going on here let's see kind of like invert the knee is there a knee controller here no, let's cancel out sorry about that uh, ch -ch -ch. okay set up that way interesting all right well we'll have to kind of work around that so let's see what we can come up with all right if we do little steps and we don't push them back too far we might be able to work within that we'll also dip the hips down a little bit lower than we should but we'll work around it okay let's uh drop those arms down drop that down i figured this guy kind of looks a little depressed so we'll kind of do kind of a mopey-ish kind of a walk Let's drop the shoulders down there as well. Actually, let's keep the shoulders up, like a nervous, uh, sad, or nervous kind of depressed walk. So let's try and figure out what we're gonna do there. Go ahead and give him some poor posture here. Now, we don't really have a neck controller, do we? I think it's just this head controller. So we'll go ahead and we'll push it up like that. Let's go ahead and bring those eyes down there. Let's kind of have him in a hand rubbing 
Kong-style pose here. And let's drop that hand there. Rotate that way. And I'll bring that over there. This one. Kind of bring this over here. Okay, that might be too much, so let's pull that back a little bit. Let's uh, get this hand a little bit better before we start too much. Make a little bit less there, and then we'll do a little bit more on the fingers themselves. We just want to kind of create a story or attitude, uh, kind of a pose, give our character a semblance of some personality, and help that illusion of life along the way. I do want to pull this in a little bit more. Maybe out a little bit then, and back a little bit more. Okay, and let's also pull this in, bring it back a little bit more here. It's okay, tilt it out a little bit. Bring it back. Just a little bit more, and let's start getting the, the hand pose in. Okay, why is it doing that? Let's try that again. For some reason, it was grabbing the rotate as well. Feels all right. Uh, the only thing I kind of want to do here, otherwise, would be maybe pull that pinky up a little bit more. Give it a little bit of roll. Just kind of give it some variety. Okay, I think we got a okay personality now. Let's go ahead and rotate the feet inward a little bit. Pigeon toe. Kind of got some bow leggedness in there, so there's two. Right, let's start with that, and we'll do small steps here. Bring that back, bring that forward. Okay, I think that works pretty well. So let's go ahead and save our file. We are using Autodesk Maya 2014 for today's video. For more information on Autodesk and Maya and all the wonderful products from that phenomenal company. Check out the links in the description below. And let's go ahead and hide that. We'll go ahead and set our frame range from 0 to 48. Make sure we just have nerve curves, nerve surfaces, and polygons selected. And let's go ahead and grab everything here. And we'll go ahead and set our first key. And then first thing we want to do is uh, lay out the feet. And like I said, we're going to kind of be a little bit vanilla-y with this one just because it's uh, been a long day already. 
but it's always important to uh, continue pushing no matter uh, no matter what let's push that one back so in lieu of not doing a video we'll just do a little bit of a quicker one today it's important some days you're going to have other things that go on in life that maybe you would want to give up on you know your goals for the day but it's important to uh, not do that and continue on each and every day and let's go ahead and build in a little bit of up and down here so we'll go down there up there and down there and up there and down So let's uh, open up our window animation editor's graph editor here and look at our translate Y and let's even it out a little bit more and also minimize it. It feels like it's doing a little too much. And again, we kind of want to keep the idea of, um, I guess kind of uh, insecure would be a good idea for this walk. Not really nervous, but just kind of, this is how he walks around throughout his life not really sure of too many things and just trying to not cause uh, attention to himself and you'll notice a lot of um, one kind of little acting note um, people who are kind of uh, self-conscious or anything will try and make themselves as small as they can so they almost uh, even if it's a subconscious thing make themselves so you you wouldn't notice them they'd hide off in place and people who uh, you know are very confident tend to walk with their chest stuck out and their arms up and they're boisterous and they're loud and they're always puffed out and try to make themselves as big as they can and that's kind of an acting note to, to work around with your characters too is that if you want to um, imply that maybe there's um, some self-consciousness that try to make them feel a little bit smaller and for characters that uh, uh, you know you want a big personality with try to make them bigger as well uh, so you really try it make them fill as much of the screen as you can or as little as you can given the rig and the geometry that you have as well so let's see all right so let's look at the feet here and again we're just going to go ahead and lock in all of those keys and let's build those passing positions here go ahead and lift that up again we're going to do it's going to be pretty small steps for this we don't want them to Almost like every step is a is something that he doesn't want to have to take. Like the story behind this guy might be like uh, he's called into a meeting to report on uh, something that he really doesn't want to tell him the information about. Like it's a uh, he's been working as part of a lab for twenty years and getting his funding, but uh, the experiment that he's been working on just isn't working and he doesn't want to lose his funding and his job and all that stuff so he's just a little unsure of himself but perhaps he just needs a couple more months they, they might get the next one you know so just a little bit of unsureness you want to kind of think through um, that stuff as well like what's the reasoning for uh, why the character is feeling this way what would be like the backstory and everything for it, it helps you to make some decisions that otherwise if you're not sure why they're doing those things they're harder to uh, come up with because your body mechanics though you want to understand it from a physical realm you also want to understand as to why is the person choosing to make those poses or to make those things as well now let's go ahead and invert the uh, translate y's as well make it more vanilla-ish here, so let's see. I don't really want to play up the fact that keep everything kind of vanilla-ish. Yeah, there's too much side to side, so let's uh, scale that back. Do a little bit of rope. 
rotate here. I'll do some rotate.y to favor the front planted foot. Then back again. Then back that way. And then back that way. And then back again. And remember, kind of uh, keeping things subtle with this one, so we're going to scale all of that back as well. So this is going to be one of those uh, exercises in um, keeping it uh, simple or mini minimizing it. What's that? Minimalism? There's a, a movement going on now, and there's a subreddit that I think I'm even signed up to about, uh, I think it's minimalism. It's about m removing things from your life that you don't uh, don't need and trying to keep things as, as base as you, as you can there. I think it's minimalism. I'll have to check on that. If you guys aren't a member of the Reddit community, you really should. Some great stuff there. Whatever you're into, you can always uh, find a subreddit for it. And for animators, there's some really great ones out there too. And for artists and people who are creative in general. But chances are, if you're watching this, you guys are already uh, way into cool stuff and are already a member of Reddit. But just in case you're not, definitely check it out. Pretty sure I'm going to scale it back on the hips as well. I think it's still too much, but let's see. Yeah, that feels all right. No, it's too too much from the side panel. So uh, let's scale it back. I think it doesn't have to be completely even. I want some variation in there. Let's just do that in the toe and the heel. Keep the rotation just on the passing position here. Okay. And let's look at this one. And we'll rotate back there. And rotate it back there. And bring that forward and so on. I said I really want to keep this one fairly neutral here. And I'm going to tone down the translate X as well. We still want to keep that, that stuff in there, but we don't really want to feel it so much on this one. I think that means I need to do less uh, rotate Z on the chest now. Let's see. There we go. the feel of that uh, side to side there as well. 
That's kind of funny about that. I have a mouth closed and a mouth open, but you have to almost like use them against each other. So I'm gonna leave that there. And I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna have him like mutter to himself. Specific for any lesson. Needs to be a little bit faster. like muttering to himself. See the eyes because they're in a loop here. Okay, so for this one, I am gonna use a little more bottom here and make him feel a little more worried and keep the eyes more like that. And then let's open them up a little bit here and close them. Keep them closed for a little while. Yeah, let that uh, thing go. And we'll open them up a little bit more again. And we'll go back to where they were. They open too quickly, so let's give ourselves two frames and then hold it for another two frames. This guy should feel a little slow, so. And they're holding for a little too long, so they'll do one frame less. And then let's hold the beginning for a little bit longer. And there, let's see. Because this isn't I still want it to feel kind of mm, feels too purposeful of blank. I want it to still feel natural.
hands here. So let's go off of my eyebrows. Let's do a little bit on the hands first. So let's see. Let's go 13. on that first one a little bit more on that second. Okay, and then let's look at the index here. And all the spreads here on the fingers. Let's have them drag back here. Let's take all of those indexes and put them forward a few times. Let's see. And then we'll do less on that last one. It's still a little too much now, so let's pull that back. Maybe a little bit more. And then maybe it just needs another frame or two. a little bit better. I'm going to just tone it down a little more. Okay, and let's look at the middle spread now. one's a little too much, so I'll scale that back a little bit more. Okay, and let's look at the pinky spread. Kind of key that one again. And just a layer that all on the frame.
a little too far up and holds for a little too long. spread here. Here and there. Just trying to tweak up the timing and the grouping of my fingers a little bit more. This holds for too long. So I move it forward a couple of frames. And the pinky still feels like it's uh, a little too delayed, so I'll move that forward one more frame. two fingers a little bit more. They feel a little too rigid, so let's just uh, delay those a frame. Let's see. Okay, that works for now. We could definitely spend another half an hour really getting in there and tweaking them up, but I think that works. So let's go ahead and save our file. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of balancing the fingers here. too uneven, so let's minimize it a little bit more. And let's also pull it back a little bit more here too. And scale this back in a little bit.
do don't need a lot of this. We just don't want them to feel dead there. Let's see. and tips and we'll delay those frames. And all the tips and we'll go ahead and delay those frames as well. Let's see. And then we'll grab everything on the pinky and push it uh, back a frame. Everything on the index and we'll push it forward a frame. I'm going to take all of the bases and we'll tone those down a little bit more. And all of the tips of the fingers here. And we'll amp those up just a little bit more. too much. We just want a little bit of this. Basically almost nothing. It's just kind of some keep alive in those arms there. There we go. And let's look at the elbows and we'll do a little bit of movement there as well. But we'll do the sort of the six. Go up a little bit. Let's uh, tone down the pinky a little bit more. It feels a little too much for me right now. And let's look at the head. Maybe we'll do a little bit of uh, a little bit, a little bit. Of, let's do a little bit of wiggle in the ears. 
this day as well. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, let's even that out a little bit more. Let's see. So that my hand has a little bit of movement in it as well. And let's do a little, see if we can do a little bit of rotate X. Just so we can get some movement in that head. This is probably too much, so we'll have to really minimize that as well. stiff. So let's do a little bit and then we'll delay the frame as well. And then we want to do some toes and after that I think we'll call it. So let's see. Feels okay, but I want a little bit less. Mm, maybe a little bit more. Somewhere in between where we just were and where we are now. back too much. So let's pull that back and minimize that as well because we don't want that to overshadow the drag back as well. There we go. That way there's just a little bit of change of shape in that foot there. And drag it back, lift it up, two frames, flatten it out. tap from both sides so that we get it even. Let's see. Okay, that should feel about right. All right, I think that'll do it for today. We could definitely play around with this one a lot more, um, but I down in that chest. Mm, might be a little too much. Maybe just as a hint of it, that chest is just feeling a little too flat. Just too stiff. And I want it to feel sort of stiff, but not completely. Let's just do a teeny bit of that in there, and maybe that'll help loosen it up a little bit. So let's see. And the rotate on the head, rotate X feels too much forward. 
So let's take a look back at where we started. We looked at the beautiful work of Dermot Power. He said, uh, it doesn't matter where you come from. If you have a dream and a talent, you should go out there and do it. Totally agree. It's really what uh, this whole series is about is, is trying to encourage you guys and motivate you guys and, and inspire you guys to go out there and create your own stuff. So go do it. You're amazing. I love you lots. Thanks for hanging with me for today's video. Um, thanks for all the likes and subscribes. And uh, if you're watching this, you are the creative future. So go out there and live it and do it. And uh, that being said, uh, we will see you for some more animation tomorrow.